Sounds like a pretty fun, pretty fun experience there. Uh, is there is there another profession uh, other than what you're currently doing that you might want to attempt at some point, or do you feel pretty pretty happy where you are? Um, I I really like um, doing this. This uh, it's a lot of fun because I get to interact with people, right? I get to stay a part of the Navy, um, and I get to help people as we go. Um, and to top it off, my, my kids like to draw. So at some point, you know, they can come in and, and draw with me and I can, you know, bring them through as designers and then into, into like a department head or something, depending on how we go. Um, and they can be, you know, an active, active participant in the company, which would be really cool. And I think as long as you bring them, you know, through the bottom up into the end of the company, then they kind of have that vetted interest and that vetted love for it. And so it's not like that transformer toy that they break. Um, mm-hmm. But it's, it's really weird because uh, I went to school in, while I was in the Navy. I, I, finished, um, <laughs> I finished degrees in um, psychology and uh, um, in management, and I'm not going to ever use those to do anything, uh, which is, you know, unfortunate, but I get to do something I love. So, you know, what's, I guess what's the harm? Yeah, true enough, true enough. So what would you say is your, your best uh, character strength that, that you have? Um, I think it's, I think it's, I just really like helping people Mm -hmm. Um, that that I'm willing to spend the time to make sure that, you know, you're getting what you need. Um, Even if it's taking, you know, more time than, than what we would think it, what we think it should, you know, um, I'm willing to spend that time with somebody to really make sure that it's, it's something that they, they need. So for, for us in challenge coins, like I, I want, I want you to, when you get palmed that personal coin to like resonate that feeling or emotion that that person had when they made that coin. Yeah. I want that kind of to transfer over I, you know, a coin is just a piece of scrap metal you know, but if you can tie it to emotion and, and, and a memory, you know, then it becomes something truly that you cherish um, and not just something that catches dust. So I think being able to spend the time with the person to, to really establish what it is that they really want um, and find something that really connects them to their coin, I think that's really cool. So what do you, what do you think uh... – on the flip side of that would be your greatest weakness. Um, I have a problem with balance. Mm -hmm. Um, Absolutely have a problem with balance. Uh, I can swing either way at any time uh, when it comes to, um, when it comes to work, like I will, like I want to spend, the appropriate amount of time at work and the appropriate amount of time with family, you know, um, because that's why we do everything is so that we can spend more time with family. I mean, that's why, that's why I retired was to be able to stay at home and spend time with family, but you're not doing that. If you're in your office, you know, working for 15 hours a day, um, so I have, I have a problem trying to, trying to strike that balance and get that balance square. So if you're, if you're just describe uh, maybe where you get your best ideas, you, you mentioned, you know, when you were at uh, Disney, you, you kind of walk, walk, walking through a ride and you, you spotted something. Is there a particular place that you go to, to do your brainstorming? Um, no, no. I mean, there's, there's not, uh, I bounce ideas off my wife. Um, my kids come up to me and say, Hey dad, this would be a really cool coin. Can you do this? And like 90% of the time I'm like, Hey, I think that's copyrighted. That's not something we're going to be able to do. But occasionally I'm like, Oh yeah, let's see if we can do that. And then we'll, we'll try and put it in a metal. Um, th- there's no like one place where, you know, we just kind of go and, and veg out and, and just, you know, think about the next big thing. Um, we just bounce ideas off of each other inside the company and, and see what we can get to stick amongst all of us. And if it, if it works out, then, you know, rocking. Um, 
yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. We don't have any, any solid, like, Hey, this is what we're doing. Uh, we do get on zoom a lot and, and try and do a, um, a face to face, like, Hey, these are all the projects we got going on. I think this idea would be really cool. Uh, and we do that a lot back and forth, but there's no one place where we just kind of hang out. So, uh, to, at a high, very, very high level, uh, how would you describe what you do, uh, as, as the business head uh, within your business now what your role looks like? So I kind of do a little bit of everything. Um, I still design coins just like everybody else. Um, I still design coins. I design belt buckles. Um, I don't design shirts. Um, I look at finding collaborations, finding partnerships that we can do that are beneficial to our company and other companies. Um, I uh, work on the back end of our store, making sure like our SEO is good, um, that everything flows. Um, I do our marketing and our advertising. Um, I do our social media posts. I manage our Instagram. Um, I respond to customer service emails. Um, I mean, it, do a little bit of everything, uh, which I think most business owners do. Um, I know enough about all the different facets of like SEO and, and marketing to be dangerous, but not enough to be an expert. Um, so for the, for the last, you know, four months, we had uh, an outside company that was managing our stuff uh, up until I retired. And then once I retired, I was like, look, I have enough time. I should be able to do this on my own now. Um, but yeah, I mean a little bit of everything. Uh, I maintain columns be between us and the factory, um, and the, the client. We use a, a project management software so that it's kind of seamless. Now we take out the, the factory's contact information so you can't like circumvent us and find out who we utilize, but right. we have a, a software where when we're talking about your product, you, you can actually talk to our designers and myself, as well as the factory. So if you have a question like, Hey, I'm not sure if this 3d is going to look right, you know, mm -hmm. at this manner, um, you don't have to wait you know, 24 or 48 hours while we're trying to contact the factory, the factories in the, in the system. And we're all talking at the same time, which is really kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, I oversight that or oversight that. And so about uh, kind of to, to wind up our, our conversation this morning, which you know, I've been enjoying quite a bit. Um, tell me something about you that, uh, that most people don't know, you know, kind of a trivia question there for you. Um, so, I mean, most, I mean, I'm kind of, an open book for the most part. Like I don't, uh, I don't really hide a lot of stuff back. Um, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much, you know, um, what you see is what you get. I, um, I firmly believe that you have to, um, you have to be honest and give that, that criticism where you need it, um, across the board. So like if, and I kind of expect that back, if I'm not doing something right inside the business then I kind of want that back like immediately so we can make, make changes. Um, but everybody kind of knows that about me. Uh, I mean, the only thing that, that people might not know about me, I, I don't really have anything. Like, to be perfectly honest, uh, there's no real like, like smoking gun secret. Um, all the guys in Jacksonville where we just came from, they all know I, I own a bunch of guns. I think it's kind of cool. Um, oh, I just bought a Kubota tractor, one of the little uh, riding uh, zero-turn lawnmowers. Yeah. Those things are fun. Uh, that might be the only thing. I feel like Farmer John. <laughs> day. Uh, hey, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're not making coins, you're going to be out in your tractor, you know, tooling around yeah. and tearing up stuff. Yeah, spinning in circles. Um, and uh, recently, I've been sucking bees out of our uh, out of our house. We had a, a portion of one of the windows is open. We're remodeling this old house, and uh, uh, some bees came in through a window. So I'm up there with a shot back. These big, like like European hornets, are like this big. And oh, wow. I'm up there with 
with a shot bag sucking them up like Rambo. Um, that's <laughs> not the end of it. But oh, that'd be a sight. <clears throat> well, Terry, I've I've enjoyed our, our time here this morning, and yeah, before we before we close out, I I want to give you a chance to to get your contact info out here on the on the podcast so that people can reach out to you because you know, you, you offer something that, you know, I think that a lot of people need to be able to take advantage of and, you know, to be able to, to reach out to you, you know, use your, use your business. So how do they get hold of you? All right. Uh, so it's really easy. Uh, you can go to uh, pitch and rudder.com. It's spelled out a and D. Uh, so you can go there. Um, if you're looking to make custom coins, we have a, a call to action that says go custom. Just click on it, fill out the form, send us some stuff. We'll make you some cool coins. Um, Facebook, same at Pitch and Rudder. Uh, Instagram at Pitch and Rudder. Um, um, Pinterest. I uh, never would have thought I had my own Pinterest account, but Pinterest at Pitch and Rudder. Um, and then if you're trying to get a hold of anyone at customer service, it is customer service at pitchandrudder.com. Uh, and hey, I really thank you for uh, for taking the time and you know letting me sit here and, and chat with you for the last hour. Uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's been a pleasure and been an honor to have you on here, Terry. And you know, until next time, uh, like I, I enjoy telling all of my guests here, I'll see you around the bend, my friend. All right, brother. Talk to you later. See you. You've been listening to Legacy Cast. Thank you for joining us today and be sure to come back next time as we speak with more top influencers, industry experts, and business owners from around the world.